Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review and another holiday beer review at that. This one is from St. Bernardus. This is their Christmas ale, a 10% alcohol by volume, Belgian strong dark ale that they brew specifically for this time of year. And this is actually the newest beer. It started being brewed in 1946 for St. Bernardus, so new is relative. Um, this one comes highly recommended to me from uh, Ryan and Tantrum out on the West Coast. They said this was the best one they had in 2010, so I had to pick up a bottle of 2011 to try it out. Never had it, but of course, you guys probably know St. Bernardus from their ABT 12, just a world-class quad. So with all that said, let me get into a glass, let you guys know how it smells, tastes, give me the verdict on the St. Bernardus Christmas Ale. All right, guys, so the appearance on the St. Bernardus Christmas sale, <laughs> it's that classic, dank, you know, Belgian-y, quad-like character that I love to see in these types of beer. Hazy as hell. You can't see anything through it. Anything through it. It's going to be a bottle-conditioned beer, so of course you're not going to. There's a gigantic three to four fingers of an off-white head on there, verging on white. Um, it's just billowing over like the snow in the cup is. Nice kind of rocky appearance to it, almost ice cream-like. <laughs> Tons of lacing from the head itself. I definitely see a little bit of alcohol in there. Nice carbonation coming off the bottom of the glass. Yeah, it's just a classic, classic looking Abbey style beer. All right guys, the aroma on the St. Bernardus Christmas Ale. Wow, that's interesting. There's definitely some spicing going on in there, kind of a cinnamon nutmeg, big kind of dark fruits, plums, raisins, uh, like uh, a chocolate covered cherry. Nice fruitiness. There's a nice kind of um, citrusy, fruity effervescence kind of coming off it. I'm assuming that's got to be from the Belgian yeast. There's a nice kind of black pepper, clove spiciness in there as well. Big bready Belgian notes. Wow, yeah, it just smells like an intense, intense Belgian beer. Okay, guys, so here we go. The taste on the St. Bernardus Christmas Ale 2011. Cheers. Big, big dark fruit notes at the front of the tongue. I'm also getting like a tanginess, like a like a dark cherry kind of tanginess right at the front of the tongue. Middle of the mouth, the carbonation kind of swell up, kind of cleans the palate, and then you're suddenly hit with these big kind of biscuity, Belgian-y, um, dark fruit notes. It's almost like I've said it before, like raisin bread. Um, there's a nice kind of cinnamon quality coming through, a spiciness, an herbal essence kind of coming through. And I don't think this beer is actually spiced. I think it's just from the yeast strain that they're using. There's a nice clove character in there. Nice dry finish. This thing actually finishes like a, a white wine or a champagne. Aftertaste though, I'm getting like a, a sweet kind of fusely, um, bready alcohol taste to it. There's a nice kind of dark sweet fruitness from the yeast that they use as well in the aftertaste. Nice big bready notes and big, you know, dark fruits and plums and cherries. Oh my. And there's, there's that spiciness on top of it, a nice fruity quality to it. It's an... <laughs> A really, really different tasting beer than I expected it to be. Wow. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the St. Bernardus Christmas Ale, 10% alcohol by volume. Available now, limited release though, so get it while you can. Guys, I'm gonna give this one an A minus. This one really, really took me back. I didn't know what to expect from it. I expected, you know, quad characters like in the ABT 12, and I'm not getting those at all. Um, it has kind of the mouthfeel of a quad, but the flavors are kind of these, you know, you get the dark fruit and the plum and the raisins, you're getting the breadiness, but at the same time, you're getting this kind of light, kind of cherry fruitiness kind of throughout the entire mouthfeel. Really, really effervescent beer. The, the carbonation is constantly cleaning your palate, brightening it up, keeping it open. Nice dry finish on this one. It's not overly sweet at all. It's a quad like if any, any other I had. It's a really, really easy to drink quad. I mean, I could easily drink this entire bottle. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't, you know, coat your mouth. But at the same time, it's very warming. You do feel the 10%. You don't taste it at all. But it is a warming beer. It's a Christmas beer. You know, you're supposed to be sharing this by the fire with somebody. Um, so with that said, definitely check this one out. It's a surprise for me. So with that said, getting an A- minus from me. Remember folks, life is too short. Drink amazing beers and happy holidays.